TextWhite presents Total Organic Carbon TOC Cleaning Validation Swab Sampling Technique. Swab requirements for cleaning validation are minimal total organic carbon background interference, high recovery rate, low particle generation, and a notched handle. TechSwipe's TOC sampling swabs have a low TOC background in comparison to standard swabs. Step 1. Choose one of TechSwipe's cleaning validation products. TechSwipe offers a large selection of TOC cleaning validation products, including individual swab products and kits, prepackaged in clean room compatible boxes. Step 2. Prepare for sampling. The TX3340 TOC cleaning validation kit will be used for demonstration. Each box is individually lot coded. A sampling template is used to define the sampling area. Please note, the template is not a part of the kit. The kit contains 12 vials. The first vial will be used for the low TOC water to wet the sampling swabs. The second vial will be used to place the swabs in after sampling. The kit also contains 24 low TOC alpha swabs with a notch for easy breaking after sampling. Two swabs are used for one sampling procedure. Note, the swabs should remain in the package until time of use. There is a clean room compatible label for each file in the kit. Step 3. Proper Sampling Technique Hold the swab above the notch to prevent contamination of the swab handle and head below the notch. Add low TOC water to the first vial. Dampen the first swab with water. Remove the excess water. Begin sampling by swabbing the surface using horizontal, unidirectional, parallel, overlapping strokes. This is the first side of the first swab. Flip the swab over and swab in a perpendicular direction using the same technique. Keep the entire swab head flat against the testing surface. This is the second side of the first swab. To snap the head into the vial, insert the swab head into the vial, place the notch of the handle on the vial's edge, and push the handle down until the handle snaps and the head falls into the vial. Place the cap on the vial. Take the second swab, dampen the swab, remove the excess water, and repeat the same sampling procedure at a 45 degree angle. This is the first side of the second swab. Using unidirectional, parallel, overlapping strokes is important for good TOC recovery. Flip the swab over and swab in a perpendicular direction using the same technique, keeping the entire swab head flat against the testing surface. This is the second side of the second swab. The last step is to swab the perimeter of the area using the swab tip. Flip the swab over for the last two sides of the perimeter. Snap the swab head at the notch and allow the second swab head to fall into the same vial. Replace the cap and label the sample. The septum in the vial cap is pliable and consists of a chemically inert Teflon inner layer and a silicone outer layer. Polyethylene overcap is used to protect the septum from contamination. The overcap has to be removed before performing TOC analysis. Visit TextWipe.com for more information or call 1-800-TEXTWIPE.